So we're putting some learners under pressure in this part of the video presentation. I'm with Joseph, and Joseph is going to carry out the insulation resistance test. We've already carried out what test, Joseph? A continuity of CPC. And what does R2 stand for? CPC. R1? Line. What did you put in the polarity box during the continuity test? Tick. And uh, which position did you leave your switches in before carrying out the insulation resistance? I left them on. So we left this switch in the on position. Fuse is fitted. What size is the maximum rated value of this fuse? 13 amp. It is. And the RCCB here, you've left it in which position? Off. Because it contains what? Sensitive electronic equipment. It does. And we're going to pass what voltage through the circuit when carrying that insulation resistance? 500 volts. Is it AC or DC? DC. It is DC. Okay. Do you want to get ready to probe on and for the ease of the camera, I will hold the instrument, which you've already set to 500 volts. So you're testing between which two conductors first? Line and CDC. Okay. And we press and hold. And what reading have we achieved? Plus 9999. What's the smallest acceptable value of insulation resistance? One mega ohm. And what does mega stand for? A million. It does. Do you want to move around? Move your body, that's it, excellent. And again, greater than the machine will read, so more than 999 mega ohms. And finally, so we've completed the insulation resistance test. You agree? Yep. We're going to record which of those readings? Uh, all of them. All three of those readings are recording our test paperwork. Thanks a lot, let's move to the next learner. So we've moved over to Jay, who's carrying out his continuity of CPC and polarity test on the same job that we saw Joseph doing. You've removed the CPC from the earth bar here. What have you done that, Jay? It's removed the parallel um, earthing path for the trunking. What type of conductive part is metal trunking? Exposed. Uh, the metal bat box? Exposed. And the metal consumer unit? Exposed. Good. And which test, remind me again, what you're carrying out? Continuity of CPC. Brilliant. And what SI unit will that be measured in? Ohms. And will the reading be very high or very low? Very low. Why will it be low for our installation? Because our circuit's very small. Yeah, small in length, short amount of conductors in circuit, I agree. We're also going to carry out the polarity test. What do we put in the polarity box? A tick. We do, we put a tick in the polarity box. So we've got the link in place, I take it you've zeroed it. It might be easier yeah. if I hold the instrument as I did with Joseph. And you've set it on to? Ohms. Good, okay, let's start the continuity test then, please. Oh, they're under pressure, they're already dropping the leads. So you're connecting that between the line and the CPC in the back of the box, and we've got a reading of absolutely below zero. So is that good, below zero? No. No? Let's have another look. And again, it's below zero. What do you think we've got to do with our leads? Test them. Yeah, let's test them together and see if they're zeroed out. He told me he'd done it. Let's try again. Zero delete, so you're connecting onto the line conductor and CPC and we've now got a reading of 0 0.06. Where are you going to go to next? To the earth in the back of the box. So he's gone to the CPC connected to the back of the box, between line and CPC in the back of the box. This time we've got a reading of 0 0.08. And where are you going to go to now? To the back of the box. The actual physical back of the box. Remind me again what type of conductive part it is? Exposed. And we're proving the exposed conductive part is earth with a reading of 0 0.08. Excellent. What are you going to do next? Go to the joint box. Which is simulating for us a load. We were suggesting this is an electric heater or something like that. Again, it's connected across CPC and line, and we've got absolutely no reading whatsoever. Okay, the reason being the switch is in which position? The off position. What type of switch is this, please, Jay? Double pole. It is a double pole switch, and we've now got a reading of 0 0.11. Of all the readings we get, which one are we going to record? The highest. We are. So R1 is? CPC. R2 is? Line. Are you absolutely sure they're that way around? No, R1's line, RTCPC. Okay. While we're here, we've operated the switch. Is there anything else we've got to do? Take the fuse out. Let's take the fuse out. So you can pop out the fuse. Uh, fuse is now out. What do you expect to happen now at the actual load itself? Do you expect to get a reading or no reading? No reading. Okay, let's see if we get no reading. So absolutely nothing. We've gone nowhere. So let's push the fuse back in and we'll return to a reading of 0 0.11. Is that the reading we're going to record? Yeah. What will we put in the polarity box? A tick. We will do. Is that the continuity of CPC and polarity test finished? Yes. Well done. Thank you, Jay.
0.77 ohms. 0.77 ohms. Don't write anything down in your testing book just yet. So I'll just put it here. 0.77 ohms. 0.61. Okay. And then the last one. One point zero two. One point zero two. From measurement, we're going to say that that's got the highest resistance. enjoyed this video.